Connecticut Democrat Congressman Jim Himes is a ranking member of the Select Committee on Intelligence. Uh, thanks so much. There's so much confusion about a lot of this. Let's talk about COVID-19 and Wuhan. Where do you come down on it? Well, Andrea, I, f first of all, I think Ken Delaney and your correspondent there got it exactly right. We may never know. We may never know. Now, we know some things with a fair degree of confidence, and, and, and uh, one of the things that we maybe not know, but uh, we, we uh, certainly the preponderance of the evidence is that this was not deliberately created, apparently, and you're well beyond my ability to know the technical aspects of this, but uh, apparently when a, a genetic code has been manipulated, that is fairly obvious to the many people who have now looked at the COVID genetic code. But look, the difference between a, a lab accident and natural um, uh, spread in a marketplace is very, very difficult to determine when you've got perfectly transparent information where you can interview victims, where you can actually go and literally look at the distances. We, of course, have the opposite of that, which is a Chinese uh, uh, government which is stonewalling that information. So, uh, again, I do think there's a little less than meets the eye here because you do have one agency of several who has slightly adjusted their view on this. But, you know, we until we get full transparency, transparency from the Chinese government, it's going to be very hard to reach a firm conclusion. And let me ask you about the China, the, the intelligence and the reporting that China is considering, considering, seriously considering uh, arming, you know, arming Russia with weapons, with artillery, you know, with these munitions that are so badly needed by, by Moscow. You've got Xi meeting or going to uh, Moscow this week, we think. How concerning is this? How credible is that? Um, you know, and is there an indication that China is changing its policy after all of these warnings from yeah, I don't, President I don't, Biden? I don't think there's a yeah, I don't think they're, it, it's not clear that they're changing their policy. China tends to be pretty strategically smart on this stuff. And look, we can dispense very, very quickly with the statement that the foreign ministry made about how, well, we're being um, duplicitous by arming the Ukrainians and saying they can't arm the Russians. That's just absurd, right? There is no equivalence between Russia's brutal criminal invasion and Ukraine's desire to defend itself. I would think the Chinese would see that because they don't want to be invaded either. So that needs to be dispensed with quickly. But what what I think, Andrea, is they probably are considering it. They're probably having all kinds of conversations. What we need to do is make it very plain to them uh, the scorn that they would face internationally. The fact that, um, as you'll note in their peace plan, in their suggested peace plan, item number 12 in their peace plan was, let's work on the reconstruction of Ukraine. That's a lot of commercial business. And of course, if China were perceived, and we would know very quickly, to be one of the aggressors against Ukraine, they don't stand a prayer uh, of getting any reconstruction business when that eventually comes. So I, I do suspect that they are considering it, and we're just in the process now of making sure they understand how catastrophic their decision to join an aggressor, to join a criminal aggressor, would be to their own interests. Do you think it's likely that the Secretary of State, the Vice President, and the head of the CIA would come out and make these warnings before the world in Munich first and now, you know, at the United Nations and on television and two Sundays in a row? if it were based on false intelligence and just on foreign intelligence? I mean, give a, your, your sense of the credibility of it. No, I, I, I don't think there's any chance at all that it's based on false intelligence. Um, again, I'm sure that there are advocates inside the Chinese government uh, to join Russia, uh, to, to provide ammunition, just as there are advocates in our government, um, you know, to provide F-16s yesterday. This is a debate that I'm quite certain is happening. I'm sure that our intelligence is good. Our, our point here is a little bit like what we tried to do when we declassified intelligence prior, a year ago, to the start of the war, to make it very, very clear um, that the world is watching very closely and that, the, and that the consequences of choosing to provide lethal aid to the Russians would be disastrous. So I, I, I think it's a, a sort of an analogous uh, effort to what we saw a year ago to try to dissuade the Russians from their ultimate invasion. And hopefully it will have some effect with the Chinese.